What is the most culture shock you've ever experienced moving from one place to another? Uh, that's a pretty simple answer. Coming from Kansas to New York City is probably the answer to that question. In Kansas, you have more space. You can see the sun. Uh, it's very open, so you know your directions pretty well. When I came to the city, it was very tough for me to know where I was. Obviously, there's buildings everywhere. The speed of the lifestyle is a lot quicker. So it's been an adjustment as far as being around so many people and just trying to get to know where I'm going, which way this subway is going, so on and so forth. What did you imagine that you were going to be early on in life? Was it always, was basketball always the path or did you have some other ideas? I think along the path there were spurts where, yeah, everyone wants to be a pro athlete at a young age. When I got to high school, I was five, eight, not a very big athlete. I was pretty skilled. When I got to college, we made some really good tournament runs and I started getting some confidence. Honestly, when I was in college, I thought I was just going to get my degree and go work for a really good business company in Wichita. And after the Final Four, I had the confidence to say, wow, you know what, a being so a pro athlete so Wow, is so possible. you're in the middle of, you are making a tournament run and you are thinking after basketball already. You don't think you're going to make a career of it? Not till after that Final Four year. Uh, before that, I was just thinking, get this finance degree, pursue a business opportunity in Wichita where business opportunities are everywhere. And so it's literally dawning on you during the season, I might be able to make a career of this. Like that's happening during the tournament run. Uh, I, when I slowed down and looked at it after the Final Four season, I kind of showed myself that I had potential to be an NBA player. That's when I noticed it the most. It's not something I was thinking about during the season, but after that freshman year, I realized it could be a possibility. So if you're going from not sure you're going to make a career of this, do you have a lot of pinch me moments in the NBA? Like if you had a lot of moments where you're looking around mm -hmm. and being like, I can't believe I'm up here. Honestly, that first day I reported to the Knicks, I had Derrick Rose, Carmelo, so many big time NBA players on my team. That was a surreal pinch me moment. And then honestly, every day is kind of a pinch me moment. Wake up and you, you're going to work to play a game. How surreal is that just to slow down and think about that? Can you give me a number of times in your career that you've been stopped by security at the arena, in any arena or any parking lot, because they don't believe that you're a member of the team? It actually happened my rookie season at Madison Square Garden. Uh, they had to radio in and see if Ron Baker was actually a player. I guess he just <laughs> didn't look the type. <laughs> <laughs> so wait a minute, where, so you, wait, you were already collecting paychecks from the Knicks and they yeah, stopped you? I was, I was on the preseason team pulling into the garden and they didn't know who I was. <laughs> That's not quite How the way the that? dream works though, right? You don't go from Kansas to Madison Square Garden and then get stopped by security. Well, I did, so I, I can <laughs> say that it, it can't happen. Got to get used to my accent now. All right. <laughs> I'll try my best. <laughs> All right, I mean, let's go. He's warning you. What do you got for him, Poppy? What do you got for Ron? Yeah, your hometown had a Ron Baker day back in 2013. What was the best part of that day for you? Yes, Ron Baker day. Wow. Well, seeing the, the letter the mayor sent me, it was framed. It said, Ron Baker Day, March 28th. It was during the NCAA tournament. And I seen a lot of videos of friends I went to high school with, uh, my brother's class, my sister's class, all, all outside on Main Street celebrating my day. That was, that was pretty cool. A lot of videos got sent to me that day. How about that? Wow, that, that was good. That was good. great. I want a damn great deal of food day. too, yeah, right? Yeah. Plenty of food Plenty there, of right? Food. Look, my father <laughs> thinking about the food. That's all that matters. That Ron Baker Day have some food. Uh, thank you, Ron. We appreciate it. Gracias, gracias, Ron. Gracias, gracias. De nada. De nada.